Hi, my name is Michelle Nesky, the Posh PA, PA School Admissions Expert. And today I'm gonna to talk about PA School Program Accreditation again, because recently a program in California lost its accreditation status after four years of being active. What does that mean if you're a student? What does that mean if you're applying to PA school? I'm gonna break that all down for you in this video. But before I do, if you have not already, please smash the subscribe button. I'm here every week dropping new tips to help you get into PA school, become a successful student, and a fulfilled practicing PA. Okay, so I have another video that breaks down the different types of PA school accreditation. What is accreditation? Well, there is a commission called the ARC PA that comes into every PA program, okay? It's the Accreditation Review Commission for PA, okay? That's what ARC PA stands for. And they determine whether or not PA programs are up to the standards that they need to be in order to provide an acceptable education and successful graduates, okay? So there's very strict guidelines that the ARC PA has and standards that each program has to meet to receive accreditation, okay? So there are a couple of different types of accreditation. One is continued accreditation. That means the ARC PA reviewed the program, they came in, everything's fine, you're good to go, they are continued, they are solid, okay? The next is provisional accreditation. Provisional means new. These programs are in the first two years of their PA program, and so they have been granted provisional accreditation by the ARC PA. So they have come in and done a review and determined that this program is good to open and good to start and good to enroll students. So if you get accepted to a program like that, you are good to go, okay? The next is probation. So probationary status means that something is off in terms of the standards that need to be upheld. Now, these can vary in terms of degree. It could be as simple as some statistical reporting, or it could be more significant structural and faculty issues, okay? How do you know what those things are? Well, the ARCPA has a website where you can look at the program that you're applying to and see their review history. Okay, so you can actually go to the RPA website, look up your PA program and see what their accreditation history looks like. Why is that important? Well, I'm gonna get to that in just a second, but let me just finish a brief wrap up of probationary status. If you enter a program that is on probation and you matriculate and start that program, if the program loses accreditation during the time that you're there, the NCCPA, which is the certifying body, says that you are able to sit for your boards and become a PA, okay? So even if your program loses accreditation, you have to transfer somewhere else, the NCCPA says you're good to go, it was accredited when you started, so you can sit for the boards and become a PA, okay? So that is important to know. With that being said, let me go back to that point about looking at your program's accreditation history. If you are thinking of applying to a program on probation, I highly recommend you go to that program on the RPA website and look at their accreditation history. If you see that they have been on and off probation a number of times throughout the years, that might be a red flag to you, okay? It's a less than ideal situation if you enter a probationary program and then they lose accreditation, right? So look at the history first. It may not be anything egregious. It may be something simple, okay? And for example, I went to a program that when I arrived there, they were not on probation. And when I was there, they went on probation and came off during the time that I was there. So it can be a little nerve wracking and a little anxiety producing if you're there and they go on probation and things like that. We wanna avoid that if possible, but with that being said, you are able to look at the history and I highly recommend you do that before applying to a probationary program. There's one type of program I would not recommend applying to unless you know when their accreditation meeting is. And those are programs that are developing programs, okay? That means they currently have no accreditation from the ARCPA, none. So if you get an interview and accept it into this program and they don't get accreditation, you don't go, okay? And that's a big deal, right? 
So if you are thinking about applying to a program that is a developing program and does not yet have accreditation status, it should say very clearly on that program's website when their meeting is with the ARCPA that will grant them provisional accreditation if the review is favorable. It should say right there on their website when the date is that that meeting is going to happen and when you should know if they're going to get accreditation status, okay? Big risk to me in applying to these programs. There was a program in Massachusetts that was just going through this and students interviewed and got acceptance letters and they did not get their accreditation, which means those students cannot matriculate into that program. And it's very disappointing and very stressful. So before you think about applying to a developing program, please look at their website and make sure they have a clear accreditation statement into when they are going to have that review by the RPA. If that review by the RPA is well before you even plan to apply a year before or months before, then you should be okay because you'll know the status of their accreditation, right? Now, if they don't have that information on their website, that's a red flag, okay? Every developing program should have that information on their website. And in fact, every PA program should have an accreditation statement on their website. So something really important for you to be looking at when you are looking at programs. So what happens if your program loses accreditation while you are there? Well, a few different things can happen. Other PA programs can absorb a certain amount of students and you could be transferred to another program. So, you know, it really depends on the program how they are going to work through that process with you. Some students may be allowed to finish out the program depending on where you are in the program before the program closes down. Does this affect your applying to jobs in the future? No. Okay, so if you went to a PA program that lost its accreditation and is no longer open, like California State that just closed in Monterey Bay, or that is closing, does that affect you in the job application process? And the answer is no. Most people are not going to know that those programs have closed. Um, you're going to know, obviously, because you have to complete your education and take your boards and do all those things. But as far as employers are concerned, you need to just have a degree, a master's degree from an accredited PA program, sit for the boards, pass them, and you can be gainfully employed as a PA, okay? So a couple of reassuring things to know. The point of this video is to just make sure that you are doing this research on the PA programs that you're applying to, okay? Again, use the resources we have. The ARCPA's website is a very good resource to check the accreditation history of a program you're thinking of applying to, especially if that program is on probation, okay? So if you take that away from this video, I'll be happy. And the second thing is, every program should have an accreditation statement on their website. If you are thinking about applying to a developing program, please, please be sure that they have an accreditation statement saying when that meeting is gonna be. The last thing I want you to do is apply to a program that doesn't get accredited. You thought you were accepted and ready to go, and then you can't go to that program, okay? So please make sure to check out my other video, which goes through a little bit more comprehensive detail of each of the accreditation statuses for PA programs here on my channel. Drop any questions you have in the comments, and I will see you next time. Thank you.